Good morning. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. This week, we're reading through and praying through the Beatitudes. Matthew chapter 5. We call it the Sermon on the Mount. Boy, it's a beautiful morning this morning. Sun comes up a little later every day. Oh, thank you for spending time in God's Word and in prayer and joining me praying through the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. We now know the word blessed means something much more than being happy. It means having the favor of God. Like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, having God's favor in our lives. Blessed are the poor in spirit reminds me of John the Baptist. I must decrease and he must increase. Oh, to empty ourselves of ourselves and be completely dependent upon Almighty God. El Shaddai, he is Lord. Our dependency is upon him. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Actually, these two go hand in hand. That's right, they go together. There are two essentials that we realize when we study through the New Testament. Essential number one is our salvation. Essential number two is to learn how to live the new life that Christ gives to us. Just like that sun rises every single morning. Isn't that so beautiful? Well, you're a lot more beautiful when you give your heart to Christ. Every day becomes a new day and you have to learn how to live in Christ. Again, let me say there are two essentials we learn in the New Testament. Number one, our salvation. Romans chapter 10, verse nine. If we confess with our lips and believe in our heart, we will be saved. Salvation. It's very important to recognize that Matthew chapter five, the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus had gone to the hillside, gathered the believers, the disciples, the followers of Christ, and he was teaching them the essentials. The Beatitudes are eight essentials on how the believer is to live. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Again, I must decrease and he must increase. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. When you're a Christian, that means Christ is perfect, but you're not. Let me say that again. You are saved, but you are not perfect. That confuses a lot of people, and they make a lot of mistakes, and they get very, very frustrated. Consider David, and consider Peter. In Psalms chapter 51, we find David having made a terrible mistake. He loved God, but he wasn't perfect. He followed God, he listened to God, he adored and worshiped God, but he was not perfect. Blessed is the one that will mourn, for they will be comforted. And when you read Psalms 51, you discover a godly man that made a worldly mistake and he pours his heart out to the Lord. He's grieving, he's weeping, he's asking God for God's forgiveness. He's letting the Lord know of his brokenness. And when you move into the New Testament, you can read it in the Gospel of Luke and again in the Gospel of John. There, Peter is denying Christ three times. That's a pretty big mistake. But remember, blessed is the one that mourns, for they shall be comforted. What is Jesus speaking about when he's talking about mourning? Well, he's actually talking about repentance in our lives. 
as long as you are sensitive to the Holy Spirit and you call upon the name of the Lord and you pour your heart out to him, you will have God's favor. That's right, even when you make mistakes. That's right, God loves you so much, but he anticipates that your heart is broken and that you are sorry and that you repent. Let me say it again, there are two essentials. Number one, salvation. And number two, to learn how to live that new life. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. There's nowhere in here is it talking about you being perfect and never making mistakes. If you're walking in this world and you're walking with the Lord, you in your flesh and with the influence of the world will stumble, fall, make mistakes. <laughs> but thanks be unto God, just like we learned to pray a week or so ago. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us. Did you hear that? And forgive us our sin as we forgive others. Jesus expects us not to be perfect. His grace is sufficient. And he taught us to actually pray every day that God would forgive us our sin. God loves you. I love you. You're gonna be blessed today. You're gonna to have the favor of God follow you because you are following him. You be blessed.